Well, Carmen, tonight police are still trying to understand what led up to that deadly shooting and investigators not releasing many details about a possible suspect. Just after four Saturday afternoon, Waterbury police were called to the 400 block of West Main Street on reports of a shooting. When officers arrived, they found a man with a gunshot wound to the neck. He was taken to Waterbury Hospital where he died from his injuries. Police blocking off the road for several hours as police investigated a parking lot and an alley across the street. This area is obviously really becoming dangerous, more dangerous every day. A woman who lives in the area who did not want to go on camera or be identified said this is not the first time something like this has happened in this neighborhood. It's been from what I read and hear and everything happening. I want to say they eight times in this area within a month. That's a lot. It's very scary. Daryl Copeland, who leads an anti-violence organization in Waterbury, says he's devastated by the news of another shooting in his city. It gets frustrating because, again, we, we can't stop gun violence, but we can bring more of an awareness and have more dialogue and communication uh, about the problem. Urging the community to come together and find solutions to gun violence. My recommendation to everyone that lives in a neighborhood that we feel that is unsafe is to not be afraid and be silent. Um, if things are kept in silence, that's when they can continue to fester. But if we can bring light to situations by just having conversation, getting more people involved to talk about um, what's happening in our neighborhoods and what's needed. And anyone with information on this case is asked to call Waterbury Police. Live in Waterbury, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.